I guess on a lighter note, I have been beefing with all the Mario characters in Mario Kart. Good afternoon everyone. Yes sir, there's another episode of the vlogs baby. A little advice for the oxygen breathers out there. Uh, do not sleep with your contacts on. It's probably one of the most heinous crimes you could possibly commit. I continue to do so, but it's definitely not a good idea. I, I need to put an end to this habit, all right? There's a couple of options, all right, of, you know, how I wake up with these contacts in my eyes, right? One, it's like really dry. I have to kind of like rub my eyes a little bit because it's bothering me. Two, it's kind of wonky, so like, it's not like perfectly aligned into like my pupil. Or three, it's like right behind my eyelid. Or even worse, sometimes it's folded like into my eyelid. You know, like when I unveil my eyelids, like it's like folded in there. It's like, damn. Luckily, this one was just one of those where it's like, it's a little dry, but could have gone a lot worse. The point is, do not sleep with contacts on, all right? But either way, it's uh, it's Sunday and your boy has, uh, you know, a, a nice little double shift on a Sunday. What are we doing today? No idea, but I know what will be done today, all right? Not specifically for the vlogs, but just kind of, uh, just for me. I'm gonna be eating a lot. Today's a rest day from the gym, which, you know, I, 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 might, I might, might need it. I had this habit last year where even during my rest days, I would still go to the gym, but this time I actually wanna take this, like, rest day and enjoy it and, you know, not rest when it comes to the eating. Definitely. All right, I got nothing else to say. I'm just gonna, just gonna head to work now, boys. I'll see you guys in a little bit, all right? How's it going, everyone? It's your boy, Aldwin. Coming at you like it's a f***ing date. Got some steak right here, ladies and gentlemen, with some rice, because I decided to eat all my mac and cheese earlier. Today, I wanna, uh, when it comes to, like, the fitness stuff, I wanna just, like, pile on as much calories as I can. Just, if we reach 4,000, if we reach 5,000 even, I, I'll be, uh, I don't care. Like, I, I don't... I'm just gonna, like, genuinely just hammer in all the calories. I don't know how much calories is in this, but, um, I can assume it's a good amount. Off camera, I had this, uh, I made this, like, dip thing. It's made with, uh, soy sauce, calamansi, and just some bunch of vegetables that I just piled on together. Let's have a date, alright? Me and you. Just chat. Me and you just talk about this. Why does this look so burnt? But it's not. I know it's not. Just dip the steak in. Side of rice. Yes, I eat with a fork and spoon. I'm Filipino. What do you expect? Give myself a pat on the back. I could eat three plates and I wouldn't be full. Just because it's that enjoyable to eat, you know what I mean? Just another holiday where uh, your boy's just chilling all alone, you know? Honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I've learned this year. It's like, you know what? Maybe I'm not so bad. As much as I do, you know, like to sometimes hang out with people. In reality, man, I just want to be alone sometimes. Especially now that I got the DS and everything. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm well beyond, like, content with being alone. I've talked about this before, but I feel like uh, if you guys struggle with, you know, being alone and stuff, I feel like you guys should try it sometimes. You might like it, you may not, but at least you try it. It's a lot easier when I got a camera to talk to. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I like being alone, it's because of the camera. I mentioned this a long time ago where like my, my camera is like my best friend, you know? Everyone needs someone to talk to and just, you know, have them listen to you. For me, the camera is that. You guys pretty much just listen to everything that I have to say, uh, whether that's willingly or unwillingly. I upload the videos, you know, with like the, the intention of putting out something every single day as kind of like a daily diary. And the fact that people listen and stuff is just a added bonus. And, you know, I appreciate it. I don't know why I got so deep there, but let's just eat here really quickly. Give me a little bit of time and then I'm gonna finish eating and we'll kind of go from there. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Like that little Casey nice side approach with the camera. Casey clone. Yes, sir. All right. Just wanted to talk while I'm uh, while I'm eating ice cream here. Just kind of a ice cream yap sesh. One, y yes, I am here. I'm I'm still here. I'm probably just gonna stay here for the night because I'm, I don't know, just for, the, for no reason. I guess someone's got to protect this house. You know what I mean? No Nike, but I, I gotta protect. It. Is it is it Nike or? Oh, it's Under Armour. All right, cool. Who cares? We got a nice little ice cream here from Blue Bunny. Like I said, I'm just stacking the calories here, so I like to treat myself with some, 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 some light, some light. A little ice cream never hurt nobody. This is an ice cream yap session, so I'm gonna be eating ice cream while I'm yapping. 
Damn, that's good. I have a dilemma. I have a pretty important dilemma that I want to share with you guys just because I've, I've I've been thinking about this for the past like few days now. It's starting to become a little bit bigger every single day for me, like in my head. And uh, it's almost like a ticking time bomb a little bit. Ticking time bomb seems pretty serious, but I, I don't, it's not that serious, right? But it is a little bit. Not trying to educate you when it comes to human anatomy, but um, this is my hair. If you didn't know. And for those of you that have been watching this series for a long time, you guys have seen it like absolutely curly to, you know, pretty much what it is now. And it's like, it's, it's completely straight. It's got a little bit of curl, but that's only when I put like product on it. I'm feeling the perm again. I'm not going to lie. I've mentioned before how I wanted to go back to a perm. I've mentioned before how I want to grow this out to become a middle part. It's been a whole lot of mix and matching mi mix of, you know, that's why this is such a big dilemma because I don't know what to do. And it's not just a matter of me. Oh, you know, I, I could just pick what kind of hairstyle I want because if that was the case, you guys wouldn't be seeing this video. But here's one factor that really makes this much more difficult than it should be modeling. No, I love modeling, all right? I, I, I love modeling and it's, it's I guess it's an easy gig, quote unquote, for some people, but um, you know, without looking into that, it's a, it's a fun thing for me to do nonetheless, right? However, here's one kind of like, downside to it a little bit and this isn't my agency's fault because i believe that this is kind of like a standard when it comes to the modeling industry any change of appearance when it comes to uh tattoos piercings weight gain hair color hair change all that needs to be ran through with your model agency and you can kind of see where the problem lies here a little bit when it comes to the tattoos piercings weight gain weight loss it's uh, it's really not that big of a deal in reality for me at least because i don't really have any interest in you know adding tattoos at the moment I don't really have any interest in adding any more piercings at all anymore. When it comes to the weight gain, weight loss, it's pretty easy to hide that. Unless you're doing like underwear, like modeling and stuff, uh, it's pretty easy to hide like weight gain and weight loss. In my case, at least, because I don't plan on, you know, bubbling up to like 200 or something like that. And let's say I did want tattoos, right? I did, I, I wanted to add a tattoo, like let's say on my chest right here. It would be pretty easy to hide that. Um, Obviously it depends on where you put the tattoo. If I put it right here, it's pretty easy to tell, but let's say I wanted to put it right here or on my back. I don't know. It'd be easy to hide, right? Now that really doesn't apply with hair. <laughs> Give it, yeah. I guess for those of you that don't understand, the reason why it's such a big deal for me to like change my hair style or whatever, like especially hair color, but in this instance, my hairstyle, if you go to a certain hairstyle, that could go either way. Where, you know, clients decide, oh, you know what? I like this guy's look even better now. I'm gonna book him more or completely the other way around where you get no bookings. And to me, that's a pretty big deal. Another thing that's a really big deal about this whole hair change thing is if I do decide to go back to a perm, the pictures right here, on the website, it won't match. And that's a problem because like I mentioned earlier when it comes to the client and stuff, if they see that and then I show up to a booking and I have like a complete perm and everything, that might go either way. That might go really well or really bad to the point where they could kick me out because they don't, you know, they, they don't like what it, what they see. Modeling such a cutthroat industry, you know what I mean? And I guess in this case, uh, if you look at that photo, it if I went with a perm option, it wouldn't be the worst. But if I wanted to go with the middle part, that would be completely different, right? And I guess to add on top of that, if I did want to change to the perm or, you know, even the middle part, I would have to, you know, let my agency know. And on top of that, I would also have to do another photo shoot, which isn't free. And I would have to pretty much redo a lot of the stuff that uh, I did in the beginning of this whole modeling stuff. So it's not just me spending, I think 120 was the, the cost of my perm. Either way, it don't matter. It's not just me spending money on the perm, but it's also spending money on the photo shoots. You know, all that kind of stuff. It's a big change. So I'm gonna have to go through a lot of things before I before I can make the change. So that's my big dilemma and I don't I don't know what to do. Should I go with the perm? Go with the middle part? In reality, I don't really like this haircut. Like I, this this isn't like this isn't my best. This is I don't know. It looks fine. It's not my my peak, you know what I mean? If I did go with the perm, I would prefer it to like, you know, kind of like cover my forehead mostly but that's a conversation for another day i mentioned a second ago how like my hair is you know it's not my greatest it's nice like it's really healthy it's full and everything but i just don't really i don't know i feel like i could do more and you would probably expect for me to ask for you guys's opinion right now but honestly um if i'm completely honest at the end of the day this had this comes down to my decision and i don't really you know i have to weigh out everything you know what i mean so that's just my dilemma right now boys and i guess to go back to earlier when i said this is a ticking time bomb when i say this is a ticking time bomb i'm, I'm saying it because this is like this like look how long this hair is already it's right here bro 
It's, it's, it's right by my eye. If I really wanted to, I could do the middle part right now, but I'd have to, I'd have to do a couple of uh, adjustments, but I'm gonna finish my ice cream first um, before I even do that, but I guess on a lighter note, I have been beefing with all the Mario characters in Mario Kart. So one thing I've been working on for the past like week now, I'm trying to get, I don't know if you can see right there, right? For each cup, I'm trying to get a star on every single one of them. This is 50 C, wait, oh, I, I still gotta finish this one, but this is 50 CC. I'm pretty much done with all of them. Honestly, it didn't take that long, but the one that is taking a, a decent amount of time is 100 CC. For those of you that haven't played Mario Kart before, 100 CC versus uh, 50 CC is pretty much just like, the, the the pace of the game so it's faster cars right i have a star on every single one of them except for lightning cup the best that i got is a b and it's always it's always the last map that like pisses me off because i don't know what it is man mario kart oh uh, man let me rant real quick mario kart decides to put one bastard to just like be neck and neck with me in every single race and it annoys me because it's like every time oh man oh man don't get me started i i shouldn't have bought a ds but every single time i get first place there's always a blue shell after a blue shell and a banana and a f***ing red shell and then when the other player gets first place oh you know what let's give him a mushroom for some f***ing reason to me lightning blue shell i don't f***ing put blue bill in Ah, it is the most frustrating thing ever. And the one that I got stuck on the most, actually, when it comes to 100cc, this is the special cup. This has uh, Wario Stadium, Peach Gardens, Bowser Castle, and the one that everyone knows, Rainbow Road. I was stuck on that for the longest time because the first three maps, I'd be, oh, it'd be all good, right? It'd be neck and neck, like I said, but it's, it's not too bad. But when it comes to Rainbow Road, there's no road and then like sidewalk where like you go slow not nah, it's the f***ing void every time someone bumps into me i always fall whenever i get red shelled i'm always on that loop so like when i'm at the top of the loop i get red shelled i fall off the f***ing map ah <laughs> mario kart is causing me high blood pressure man i don't know what it is but it is a fun game nonetheless though so yeah let me finish my ice cream jesus i sorry i just went on a rant there my bad Alright boys, I think I've made an executive decision for now. This is day one of the, the middle part. I think I'm just gonna grow it out for a little bit. Um, this is why it kind of looks a little bit wonky right now. Bear with me, alright, bear with me. This is, this is a work in progress. And plus I just put on some shampoo and everything so the hair is kind of like all over the place. But we got the hair looking, it, it's, it's hairin. I guess. Definitely not long enough to get back to the old middle part that I used to have. That was definitely one of my peaks, let me tell you that. Your boy looked cute back then. I mean, it still do, but <laughs> no. No, your boy still looks fine. It's just, it's a work in progress, ladies and gentlemen, all right? It's a work in progress. Let it cook. Let it cook. Just let it cook. And once it's fully dished out, oh, it's, it's, I'm gonna be unstoppable. So I guess for now, since this isn't really the biggest cosmetic change of all time, if I really wanted to, I could just, you know, go back to like the, the, the front like curls right if I need to like for like a for like a booking or something But for now while we're waiting for some you know some some bookings Hey, man, let's go with this hairstyle for a little bit The goal is for me to like for, for this like top part to like raise up even further But we'll make do with what we got. I gotta go to bed anyway So this is probably gonna be messed up tomorrow. So it is what it is. But either way, I think that's about it for this video, boys. Uh, sorry about the lackluster episode. Just wanted to quickly rant about just what's been going on in my head recently. Tell you guys my dilemma and stuff. So uh, for now, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll get back into the to the action tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're back into the gym. By the way, we're gonna let this cook. And, you know, I guess this is kind of like the awkward phase. Either way, that's about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Alright. Turn around. No, I got up. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.